Okay, we're on the 5.1 to 5.4 review. Number one, Julie paid 124000 for a condo. The values of this home, the homes in this neighborhood have been appreciating. That means they're rising. And uh, if the rate is 9% per year, then the formula you're using should be the start amount times 1.09 to the X. If you just did 9 to the X, that's going to be crazy, ridiculous amounts of money over the next 10 years. Okay? You have to use 1.09. Remember, 9% means 0 0.09. You have to add that to 1 to get 1.09. If you don't change it to a percentage, it's going to be way off. If you don't add the 1, it's going to be way off. What does adding the 1 do to the 124,000 every year? Yes. It holds the value of 124 plus more, so it adds it on. It, 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 if you just did 0.09% or just 0.09, it would only take 9%, and that's all she would have left. If you only multiply by 0.09, you're just finding what it went up by. You want it to actually be the new value. You have to use 1.09. Uh, what will be the value in eight years? And finally, see what... When will it be worth 150? We're going to do both of these problems using the graphing calculator. So take out your calculator and go to y equals and put the equation in. Hundred twenty-four thousand times one point zero nine to the x. What we're going to do for part B is we're just going to graph that and trace it to eight years and see how much it's worth. But before we leave this screen, let's go ahead and put 150,000 in for Y2. Several students have been asking, how do you do part C? How do you solve for the exponent? How do you find out how long it takes to get to this amount? Well, we're going to have to graph it. So what you're going to see here is you're going to see this equation as a graph going like this, that's going to be the value of her condo rising. And then when you graph 150,000 at 150K, it's going to put a horizontal line in. What are we going to try to find? The intersection, and that will give us the number of years to reach that value. Okay? So let's complete this problem by setting up a good window. We can never get enough practice with this because students tend to struggle with taking the equations and putting them to real life. So what would a window be if x is the number of years, and we know already that we have to go out to 8 years? What do you want your x min and x max to be? You want to go out to 10? Okay. We'll see how much her house will be worth in 10 years. Well, if we only take our y max to 10, which it is right now, we're going to find out when her house is worth 10 bucks. What's wrong with that? It started out at 124,000. So we could actually put 124,000 in as the min. It is. Okay. You could actually put that in as the min, and then what do you think it's going to max out at? 300,000, great. Now when we graph this, we're going to see a curve and a flat line. That's the curve. Okay. So, step one. How much will it be worth in eight years? All you have to do is trace, eight, enter. 247,077. That's going to be the value of her home in eight years. Because 9% nine, 9 is a pretty big percentage for the value to be growing by. Next. So that's the answer to part B. 247,077. You could just write it out. But since we were on this screen, let's just do both right while we're here. Next. 
That's better than trace. Second trace, option five. Find out where they intersect. There you go. In only 2.2 years, her home will cross $150,000. So that's how you do number one.